So you're moving here to the Dayton area and you're considering moving to Centerville. And you're wondering, what are some things that I need to know about this area before moving here? Well, in this video, we're going to give you the insider secrets. Not only that, this is from a guy, a guy that's an outsider that moved in here and the things that I wish I knew about prior to going here and the different things that we have learned through our customers. So if you want to know that, stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in Dayton, Ohio. This is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now, as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button Click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, and texts from people that want to know what it's like to work here, sleep here, play here, drink here, eat here, whatever, right? Here in the Dayton area, and we absolutely love it. We really do. So if you are moving to this area, you got some questions, need some help, give us a call, text, email, help, shoot us a little paper airplane. Whatever you need to do, we got your back when moving here to the Dayton area. Okay, so why do people want to go into Centerville? As I mentioned earlier, I'm not from this area, so when I first got into here, I didn't know really where to go to. So from the outsider perspective and working real estate over the past couple of years, these are the great reasons people want to go to Centerville. Uh, first is, well, the schools. The schools are A plus rated across the board on niche.com, area vibes. You check them out, you read the, all the comments. That's where most of people's uh, real uh, ratings come from. That's probably arguably some of the best schools, public schools in the area. This is a very clean and safe place to live. If you drive through this area, which I totally suggest that you do when choosing a place and see what feels right, you'll notice that it is a very clean area. Uh, people in this area feel that it's very, very safe. Uh, they love their police department. You can read all the different threads online. Of course, they got Main Street here, lots of shops and restaurants. And of course, it's center to everything. <laughs> yes, you've got Dayton Mall down the way. You've got the highway, which is makes you anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, maybe even five to 30 minutes from anywhere you want to be. You've got entertainment and the neighboring communities in the community, tons of stuff. So I've got five different things that I'm going to talk about from the insider part, from people that live in this area that have told me what they should know. So number one is where to move, or rather, when to move. <laughs> Let's talk about when first. So when to move, the best time to go into the greater Dayton area to include Centerville is going to be from spring to about late summer. Why am I saying this? The reason being is that they, you're gonna have the most inventory of houses. Most people are moving. If you're looking to rent, it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, you're going to see a lot more vacancies as people want to move, mainly because the weather's nice. <laughs> and that's typically when people decide to move, uh, right when school gets out, it's good for the kids, good for the family, things of that nature. Now, if you're wondering what the prices are, this is a real estate channel, so let's talk about housing prices for a median for single family home. You're looking around 257,000. Now that is as, as of 2021. Uh, was a high all the way up to 650,000 and a low of about 74,900. Okay, so where should I shop? Well, these are big questions to go. Be like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna move to this area. Where where am I gonna go get food? Like, where am I gonna go things? So uh, it, one of the places that you can go for is Centerville Place. Now that's on the south end of Centerville. It actually has a Kroger. So we have Kroger and Meyer, which are the big grocery store chains that are here in this area of Ohio. And there are plenty of other shops in this area over at the Centerville Place. It's also right next to Stubbs Park, which has a big outdoor amphitheater. Uh, there's a disc golf course there. It's, it's actually a really nice place to go hang out. Now, if you're on the other side of town, you've got Sugar Creek Plaza that's on the eastern side of Centerville. 
here you've got your wonderful Walmart with all your Walmarty needs. I don't know if Walmarty is a word, but we're going to go with it. Uh, of course, you have the Kroger there as well. There's some shops and some restaurants. And of course, you're just a short distance from Miamisburg with all the shopping that you could possibly want. Uh, the good news about this area is that all you got to do is take a quick drive down Route 2, or I'm sorry, 725, and that's going to get you where you want to go, where all the big shops and things like that are. Let's talk about schools. Now, I told you that they are rated A+, according to the websites mentioned earlier. Now, arguably some of the best in the area. If you look on sites like niche.com, you're going to see that there's about 27, 27 schools from private to public that are all in this area. And if you want to look up ratings, they're overwhelmingly from A- to A+, in this area from the elementary school to the high school. So all in all, really, really good uh, for that. Of course, you're going to pay for a little bit more in taxes moving to this area, but I'm just going to keep it to the positive stuff here in this video. <laughs> all right, number four is the getting around. So how do we get around? Of course, the main part there that's uh, mainly on the western side of Centerville is Main Street, and that's where most, thing most things are going to be at. Of course, you've got your Route 725 that's kind of going east and west. And as I mentioned before, it's going to get you and route you right through downtown Centerville. And that's got all the historic areas in there. And of course, you got the big brick uh, sidewalks and it's just really cool down there. And of course, that will take you down to the Dayton Mall area where you've got the Target and different restaurants, Lowe's, the big old movie theater, all that's in, in the Miamisburg area. And of course, you do have access to Route 675. As I mentioned before, you're anywhere between five to 30 minutes away from anywhere you wanna be in the, in the greater Dayton area. It's because you have access to these highway systems. 675 gets into I-75. Uh, you've got all these different routes that go through here to get to you, to get to places very, very quickly. So it really doesn't matter where you're at, you'll be able to get there pretty quickly. All right, number five, some places to be aware of. You do have Subs Park, they've got that big amphitheater, they got the disc golf course, there's a little memorial park that's in there as well. Lots of walking, lots of green spaces to hang out with, there's events that get thrown out there all the time. It's, it's a pretty cool place to go hang out. If you like golf, you also have an awesome golf course. It's the Golf Club at Yankee Trace which I think they just, when they did the boundaries for Centerville, and I can't back this up, but it just looks like on a map that they're like, hey, we want to put this golf course part of Centerville and just kind of made the boundary go around it. <laughs> I'm not sure how true that is, but go ahead and Google the Centerville area and then you're just going to kind of see how it just kind of spreads out to, to incorporate that. But anyway, it's a great golf course to go out to, beautiful club to go, especially if you love to golf. I love to golf, but I'm pretty much camping because I'm in the woods all the time. Okay, of course we had mentioned the Main Street in downtown. Main Street's got a lot of great things. One of the things I consistently talk about, and the reason I probably run as many miles as I do, is because they got places like Bill's Donuts. Uh, very popular. You'll, you can't not see it because as soon as you're going down there in the morning, especially on the weekend, there's a line out the door for people trying to get Bill's Donuts. Um, it's, it's really, really good. I had a bacon maple in there one time and I think it changed my life. Either way, great places to go. Um, again, you're right down from Main Street and 725 intersect to get your historic downtown. Lots of great shops. That place is always evolving. Really, really good place there. Uh, you've also got a little bit more on the western end, or I'm sorry, eastern end, you have Bill Yanks Park. Hopefully I said that right. I know I've said a lot of things because I'm an outsider, said with the wrong accent. Um, you can watch some of my older videos and you can call me out. But anyway, you do have this park here. It's 194 acre park. This is great for hiking. If you look up different pictures in there, you'll see how beautiful it is out there. Great for hiking, camping, picnicking, whatever you want to do. Uh, just, just a great place. And of course, if you uh, work in the medical industry, that's, that's a very big employer out here. We do have the Miami Valley Hospital South which it does have an emergency room there, which is good that you're in close proximity to that. And uh, that's there in kind of the northeastern corner of Centerville. So 
That's all I got for you for the moving to Centerville, Ohio and the insider secrets from an outsider. <laughs> if you got any questions about anything that I did mention here, go ahead and leave it here in the comments below. If you're from Centerville and you got something else that you want to mention to us, please keep it positive. Go ahead and leave it here in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. You help us so much uh, making sure that everybody's taken care of moving to this area. And of course, if you have any questions about anything that I did mention here, again, leave it here in the comments below. We love helping you guys out. We love hearing from you. So again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with eXp Realty. And if you need any help, give us a call, text, email, find us on social media, whatever you need to do, we got your back. We'll see you in our next video.